Let's take a look at the feature number five, PDF to Office, that allows conversion of PDFs to DocX, XOX, and PPTX. It allows you to perform it on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, as well as coming soon to web, which allows you complete conversion without any server-side dependencies and conversion directly in the browser. You also don't need any Office dependencies, Microsoft Office or LibreOffice installations on any of your servers. This feature you can access and test yourself by navigating to pdf.online, which is powered by PDFtron technology. Inside of it here, you can navigate to the PDF to Word, PDF to PowerPoint, or PDF to Excel. Let's go ahead and convert a PDF to Word document. Once I upload it, it's a PDF document, legal contract right here, and I can go ahead and convert. After the conversion is complete, I can go ahead and download it in docx format right here and open it up for preview. As you can see, the document retained its original look from a PDF and is completely editable. I can select text, edit it as strings, and perform all the capabilities of Microsoft Office format. Let's now go ahead and convert PDF to a PowerPoint. After the conversion is complete, I can go ahead and download it and take a look. From here, I can see that all of the content has been retained as well as the background images, and I can modify and edit the text as I would in a PowerPoint presentation. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the feature number four. Feature number four is web your video and audio collaboration on video files, annotation frame by frame, and introduction of audio visualization wave directly so I can comment, collaborate, redact, trim, and edit uh, the track directly in the browser. From here, I can go ahead, play the video, see the video frame by frame preview, see the audio wave visualization, go ahead and place the comments. For example, I wanna place a comment directly on this title. I can select or focus my attention here with a square, and then go ahead and provide comments directly on it right here. And then after we can use powerful review and approval workflows to say this is accepted or the task is completed. We'll also visualize all the different video frames that we're placing the comments on to provide reviewers with a quick capability to see exactly what frame they're talking about reviewing. And for extra precision, they can actually extend the duration of their annotation across multiple frames. Let's take a look at the feature number three. Feature number three is a search and redact workflow that's coming to the web viewer, where we can identify patterns, search for credit card numbers, personally identifiable information, protected health information, image detection, and create a review and approval workflow for the redaction that need to be applied for the document. Once the redaction is applied, there is no reverse engineering of the document and all the content like text images, and other elements are completely removed under the specified coordinates. Let's go ahead and take a look at this feature in practice. To do so, I'm going to navigate to the Redact tab located on the top, and from here, by default, I have my Redact tool selected. With the Redact tool selected, I'm able to select text and areas for redaction. And as you can see, they added into my panel specifically focused on all the content that's marked for redaction. From here, I can also utilize a page redaction tool where I can specify the pages that need to be redacted. I can select the current page or specify the number of pages that need to be redacted, place it, and add for redaction. From here, I can also utilize the search to search for any specific terms, patterns. Let's go ahead and search for the word factors. And then after that, I will search for the credit card numbers. Now, the panel provides me with all the different search results that presented itself, and I can deselect the terms that I do not want to see, and then I can add them for uh, the markup. Now, at this point, since we have selected all the terms that we want to uh, redact, like region, the term factors, and credit card numbers, I can actually go ahead and remove the full page reduction that we have applied earlier. At this point, we can implement a review and approval process where a different person can jump in and identify whether or not the redactions were correct. Those redactions or searches can be done programmatically and combined together with AI technology to detect different content. Uh, we can then create a smooth experience for the user to really save them time during this review and approval process. After I'm ready to apply the redaction, I'll just go ahead and press redact all 
and this will permanently remove all the content underneath the coordinates from the document. Let's take a look at the feature number two. With the feature number two, I'm able to open up Photoshop, Illustrator, HEIC, and DICOM formats. It allows your users to go ahead, place the same markups and annotation tools as they're used to on PDFs, images, videos, and now on those creative formats. DICOM is a very popular format in healthcare and medical space where this is commonly used for x-rays as well as the CT scans and allows medical professionals to collaborate and provide more accurate diagnosis. From this demo right here, I can go ahead and visualize the different files like Photoshop, Illustrator, HEIC, and other image formats and use the same collaboration tools. For example, let's go ahead and place a shape uh, using this cloudy tool directly on this document. To make this comment stand out even more, let me go ahead and adjust the stroke. And maybe let's go ahead and select the color that contrasts quite well against the background. And from here, I can make a comment and save it. And again, using powerful review and approval collaboration, somebody can come in and say this task is accepted. And after it's completed, you can also use uh, at mentions to signify or tag any users you would like to take a look at uh, this task right away. Let's take a look at the feature number one, and that's DocX, XLX, and PPTX template generation. When thinking about document generation, you most often think as a very bulky server-side process, and it doesn't have to be. We can rethink completely how we produce documents. For example, if your user would like to get a summary of all the different transactions, for example, in their checking banking account, they can just go ahead and do so since the data is already right in front of them. You can then use an existing Word template that can be virtually created in any Word processor like Google Docs, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office Online without any plugins, and then use it to signify where the placeholder information should go. We can preserve all the text styling as well as the ability to add images, uh, tables with a limited number of rows that can paginate across the number of pages depending on the content size. And we also support the conditionals as well as the loops uh, to correctly fill the information inside of it. Then the data, all the data have to be is just a JSON format that can come virtually from any data source and we can merge the template with the uh, data values directly in the browser. We can do so as well on the Salesforce, ensuring that your data never leaves the Salesforce platform. And if you still would like to push this process off or more for batch processing, you can still perform it server side on any favorite platform of your choice uh, in any language. In here, I have a template for a contract letter offer for an employee. As we can see that we detect automatically all the different fields that are present on the document itself, and then we can pass the different values. Again, this can be done programmatically like the key detection, as well as passing the JSON data inside of it. We can also provide a UI for the users to kind of tweak any data just before it's gonna go into the template. And as you can see, there's support for selecting the different images, as well as adjusting image properties on how it's gonna appear, as well as inserting some of the table roles, like for example, the title, the start date, as well as the expected salary. Let's go ahead and fill the template. And as you can see, instantaneously, we can get the preview of the document, exactly how it's gonna look, as well as download the PDF to our local environment, or send it out as a next step in the workflow.